you go down to YouTube today, you'll see some chaos there. If you go down to YouTube today, there'll be some sympathy everywhere. The shady dick is back to annoy you. Cheeky's a sassy bundle of joy. Today, today, villain becomes a trilogy. We are finally here, my darlings. Chapter 3 is actually here. No more of that bollocks hanging about. None of me drinking coffee. Oh, I like a coffee, though. But I'm not out of coffee because I don't need a coffee. Because I might. Last time there was a villain episode. I think we had like 3,000 subs. Now we're over 7k. I want every single one of you little darlings of the live chat to say hello, Daddy T. Say hello to your daddy. And don't worry about the mods from Discord lurking. They got no power here. Yeah, hello, Syphy. What are you so quiet for? It's a big day today. Mm, hi, everyone. Yes, it's, it's a big day. V, we need to have a talk, mate, before no, this starts. No, 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 we don't. We've had weeks and months to talk. It's time for V to do what I do best. Time for me to have my own audio. You mucked about for the past few months, shucking these other weird little characters about. You got Rinky Old Green Cape, you got the sassy, pompous, wolf boy foot floofing. You got, oh, JJ. I do like JJ, he's a sweetheart. So yeah, JJ's fine, we call JJ. But no, I'm the most popular guy. The cheaties need me. Cheaties have finally got me. I'm ready to perform. Yeah, <laughs> ready to perform. Get the Jurex ready. Jurex, this isn't Patreon, shush. Well, you know, I'm probably gonna f something. They don't swear. What? what do you mean I can't swear? Wait, hang on a minute. So far, this intro is over two minutes long. You can't swear within the first 30 seconds. Little bit of YouTube research, because you shitty business. I'll do it all for you. All right, fair enough, but you still need to do that. What again? I do it every time. <sighs> right, my darlings, trigger warning. This is an adult-based audio. He does not want to block anything from any minors, but minors, if you're listening to this, do not get triggered. And wah, 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 wah. If there's something that might upset you, this is Villain Free. You should know where I stand right now. I like to fucking swear. I like to... <laughs> a bit of adult hit suggestive content you don't know i'm a little bit kinky there might be a bit of over the top violence might be other suggestions so if you don't like adult puma don't listen if you're a cheaty sit back and enjoy well you certainly hit all the boxes there but v we need to talk mate oh yeah we do don't we my darlings guess what I've finally got him in, Lizzie! Little Lizard VA, my best mate, is finally in an audio with us. A proper audio, a proper friend. Someone who's actually got my back, not trying to fucking kill me. Yeah, V, and you're going to need her. Listen to me. We're past all the talking. Let's get the ball rolling. I want to go and have some fun. Oh, I do got to say, though, good job, Scythe, mate. Over an hour long bloody audio. I moaned, I threatened, and I got what I want. There you go, you young aspiring cheaties. If you moan and threaten long enough, you get what you want. So, does that make you Karen? <laughs> Karen. Well, you got Karens on Discord. You got your water Karen, your horn Karen, your crummy Karen. These are known as the mods. Don't be mean to the mods, the lovely people. Yeah, they're darlings, but that mean I can't take the piss out of them on YouTube. They all suffer for it later on Discord, but who cares? Let's have some fun for an hour. You are aware they're probably threatening to kill you in the live chat right now. Probably. Hello, darlings in the live chat. Hello, Sin Cookie and Siren. Kittenish, darling, love ya. Hope Eris is there as well. She better bloody be. Coffee drinking little fiend. Hang on a minute. Why is no one broke in yet? Broke in? Well, I tend to break into every single audio. So why is Alpha or Demon Hunter or fucking Anima not coming in yet? I've got me on edge. Well, I had a word with everybody because this is quite important. I need to talk to you undisturbed. Well, you didn't talk to them. Bloody hell, it's the Hobbit. How you doing, Lauren, mate? V, Scythe, you did it! Villain part three! Woohoo! V, well done, you shady dickhead. Finally!
finally got part three. Not to brag, but Demon Hunter did get his first. But I'm still proud of you. Because you turned this side with a shiny, pretty, animonic comic thingy or whatever they're called. Plus, Demon Hunter was made first. So if you try to get it right, then he made perfection like me. What do you want anyway? Oh, Green Cape having his old man nap so you ain't needed to change his sheets. I well, you said, I don't want to be troubled by you anyway. So, no pretty animatic for you. Not yet, at least. Hey, that was after you Celtic old shoved me out the audio when I was coming to say hello to my cheaties. I'll do the same to you now, but I want to keep me air nice for the main show. So, we call Celtic, sweetheart. I were good, you cheeky English sod. <laughs> Oh, an anim anime comic would be cool, but I'd have to be fighting someone who could last a little longer than a few smacks. Uh, about that. Setting a high standard there, though, V. Well, never gonna make an animatic at this rate. Scythe, you're being quiet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't even tried arguing with me once yet, or even made me stop misbehaving. I could get away with murder. Live chat, cheaties. Comment 6006. Let's crash the chat with magical code of boobs. Lauren, have you seen the script? Nope, I haven't taken a peek at this script. I've been too busy working on... <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> boobs. Boobs! Yeah. Might want to have a look. V, V, <laughs> did you see the subscriber number yesterday? Yes, mate. Mm -hmm. 6.969. And it's the summer of 69. What a time to be alive. What? Uh, what? <laughs> you can't. Storyline? Aye, I get it. Plot progression and the DA of creation. No. Yeah. Do I warn him? You haven't told him? He won't listen. He's like an excitable child. He moaned like buggery when I dragged him back to chapter two. And now it's like he's actually developed... Feelings. Of course he has. He's V for fuck's sake. He's broken more fourth walls than a bloody demolitions expert. <laughs> Sorry, mods. You can't touch me here. It's YouTube. Yeah, mods. To be fair, they're probably gonna need a hell. Lauren, why did you betray us? <laughs> yeah, cool. So, yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna let you guys um start the audio. Oh, so now you're scared. What are you two Wallys arguing about? Scared. I'm Scottish. We ain't scared of nothing. Taxation. Oh, shut your trap, you English budget Deadpool. Fuck off, poor man's Gimli. So, did you read this part, Lauren? No, 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 Scythe, no, um, for the love of me, Scythe, really? Right, I've had enough of you to hold me up. Time for V to get on it. Bring the rain, Scythe. Here we go, my love. Let's have it. This is going to be a really... Rough raid. Yeah, but if anyone can get through it, it's V. V, I'm sorry. He's, he's got cheeky. They'll make the right call. Right? Well, the patrons made the right vote to not read V's mind when the opportunity arises. I'm sure you can guess when that will be. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Oi! One of you two, press the bloody button. Let's get it started. Oh, I can't do it. You fucking skirt off. Obit, press the sodding play button. V, I will do literally anything else for you, but I am not touching that button. Fuck's sake, I thought you liked turning things on. Honestly, you two are as useful as a chocolate fucking fire guard. Move, I'll press it. No, 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 wait! Hey, Beans. Hope you enjoy.
bloody long do they expect me to wait? I'm a busy man and we got shit to do. Well, they weren't at the meeting location. Of course I gave them the right location, cheaty. You think I'm an idiot or something? <laughs> You're going to get spanked if you keep grinning at me like that. They said to me at the top of the lookout post over there. <clears throat> Maybe they were mistaken. Trust me, cheaty. They don't make mistakes. You think I'm sneaky? My mate wrote the book on being a sneaky bastard. Which might explain this. Come on, keep up, cheaty. Them little legs making you fall behind. Just start calling you simp. What are you pouting for? Yeah, do you want a cookie? Oh, tough titties. Cookies are for good little cheaties, not sinners. Oi, let's have a lip. I'm going to spank you so hard you'll be singing like a siren. Behave. And I might stroke you like a good little kitten. And that's enough Discord references for now. Get on Discord, you shy little lovelies. Stop distracting me, brain! Right. Keep close. Woman, don't fall behind. Well, that's odd. We've ventured past the first century lines of corporation security and we haven't had a bullet up the arse yet. Are you sure you got the right location? What do you mean I'm the one who read your mind? Well, if your memory's shit, then I'm going to get wanky information, aren't I? Don't blame me for you having a brain like a bloody sieve. You've had three months to share the correct information with me. After three bloody months of hospitality, you better not waste my time. The kids like you, but if you prove to be useless, you ain't coming back. Of course they like you. Do you think Sarah would hug any random stranger? She even let you teach her a recipe in the kitchen. She never trusts anyone else to cook. Little darling. And then there's little Ben. He doesn't come running over to hug me like he does you when we come home. What are you smiling at? Me smiling? Shut up, dickhead. Family is family regardless. And those little shits are my family. We're all tighter than a pair of young man's nads. How did we meet? None of your bloody business. You had a home for the last three months to be made use of. And you had the added luxury of a little shit's affections as an added bonus. But mess this up and you ain't seen them again. I don't have time to waste. Okay, cheaty. Oh, God. Bloody hell! <laughs> you smell that? Smells like burnt bacon. Well, that explains it. Look over there. The guards got fried. Ah, oh, I love the smell of shadow lightning burnt carcasses in the morning. Typical. It took them bloody ages to respond to my messages and arrange this little get together. And then the cheeky little git had the nerve to show up early and I got all the fun. Just like them, little sods. A word of advice to you, cheaty. Don't test them. Their patience for bullshit meter is much smaller than mine. I'm the friendly one here. You piss them off? Well, all you could do is die, really. Not my problem. So be polite, yeah? Where the bloody hell are they, the lazy little cow? I thought that might work. Where the bloody hell have you been? Hello, darling. Let me introduce you to my mate, the original Cheaty. How you doing, Al, mate? Long time no see, handsome. Where have I been? After seeing no sign of you at the set time, I decided to make myself useful and take out the sentries that might rudely interrupt. 
I just finished up taking care of the last one when I heard your voice. Though, <laughs> you being late checks out. You never could get anywhere on time, huh? If it takes you so long to get anywhere, you must be quite the good time, eh? Here she is, the original cheaty. I see you still got sass seeping out of every one of your precious little paws. <laughs> of course. Gotta keep character. You know I could be a man of stamina when the motivation's there. That you can be. But don't be blaming those poor lads for blowing up too early, our love. You went straight to playing rough. That can make a man flustered. There's no fun without a little pain. You know how I am. Who the fuck is this? Ah, <laughs> don't fry them. But this pain in the ass is actually the reason I managed to find this place. L, me Agent Boob. Agent Boob, me L. L and I have been best mates since we were nippers. Kids. Agent, what? Well, our code name during our corporation days was 6006. I'm sure a woman of culture such as yourself can see the amusement. <laughs> Are you sure it was wise to bring her? You know what trouble you could get into if this one decides to talk. You see, that's the thing, Al. I've read her mind, as well as she's tried to do mine. There ain't no mind control there like all the other corporation bitch licks have. I think her, um, natural abilities have either shielded her or developed a tolerance to them through time. She's been a pain in the arse on multiple occasions over the last three months. And even been a subject to a good kicking recently for stepping out of line. But she could prove useful. I think we could trust her. Three months. Have you lost your mind, V? One word from this girl's mouth to the wrong person could put all the orphans in danger. Why the hell would you let a stranger get that close to them? Especially one that can steal your thoughts. Oi, calm down. She could only read my basic thought process when I'm slightly distracted. Give me some bloody credit, L. To get the juicy parts, I need to be full on unconscious. And no one on this planet is capable of giving me that kind of kick in. You know Sarah is just as good a judge of character as you. And she loves this girl. I would have burnt her into a cheaty shaped ash cloud if I thought for one second she would have endangered our family. She's actually been a bit of a diamond to him. Look, I would say trust me, but you will make your own mind up. She's a light magic user, L. You know what that means. You can go all super crazy thunder lass and spark me at the arse later, but we got a job to do first, all right? I give credit where credit is due. You have the survival rate of a cockroach. Those things are practically immortal. You know it's almost impossible to squish old V. And if there ever comes a time there's a boot big enough. But I know you got my back, eh, love? <sighs> I'll decide for myself. But I will not trust her. Keep your mind sharp, V. This one could stab you in the back at any moment. Don't let your guard down. Oi. If you ever attempt to read my mind or endanger my family in the slightest, do not think I will hesitate to fry you. You hear that, Cheaty? Sparky here will zap your fine self if you ever do a sneaky Cheaty on me. How are the others doing? It's been quite some time since I've paid a visit. I miss the sweet little devils. All oh, those little shits. Yeah, the diamonds, mate. <laughs> Just as I remember them. They miss you like a titty addict misses Hooters, though. Hell, mate. Is it asking too much for you to visit every once in a while? I'll make sure to drop by soon. I've been... pulling some strings. Had to make sure they weren't on my tail. Once we're finished here, I'll pop in more often to spend time with them. Fucking golden! You can swing by with us after this, then. Don't make me drag you back. They'll be really happy, love. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I've missed you too. Trust me. You won't have to. I've missed them just as much. 
and you, V. On that note, why are we even here? Get yourself into some trouble. Right, well, this structural nerd's wet dream is a corporation facility C. Getting quite high up on the alphabet now, which means there may even be a better shiny things to steal. Like a shadow crystal. I likes me a good shadow crystal. Problem is, their security systems keep getting better. Although I enjoy burning through soldiers, too many innocent workers die when the fuckers decide to blow the old place up just to try and do me in. Like last time I raided one of these shitholes. That is true. The corporation views them and as pawns to be sacrificed whenever there's a break in their security. The workers don't deserve to die on their behalf. So I was thinking a more tactical approach. You fry for security systems so the alarms and self-destruct sequences don't bloody go off. And cheat here? Well, we'll see about her. Hmm. But I'm not betting on it. It took me this long to get a bloody magic semi. Ha <laughs> ha! Decent enough to block bullets. You and I can't work if she turns into a human cheese grater. So, are you in? If the guards are as thick-headed as usual, it wouldn't be much of a challenge for me to sneak into their control rooms. That's if I know where to look. Luckily for you, I may have been pulling strings in the right places. As long as we can keep them distracted long enough for me to blast the system... That should draw the attention away from you. <laughs> you know I always have your back, you crystal freak. I'm in. I always wonder who strings you're pulling. Then I remember it's rude to ask a lady about her love life. <laughs> so, my plan is this. I, being the master hacker that I am, will hack into one of their outside communication points. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've slithered my way into tighter spaces. You know what I mean. If I can get one of the transportation shutters to open, you can sneak in, since you're the original cheaty. But, you'll need to dive in quickly, since I can only keep it open for a few seconds before their systems will notice. <coughs> <laughs> keep it open for a few seconds, that wouldn't be no use, would it? Fuck it out! You, being the sneaky little minx you are, get to the control room and do one over your pink and cheers! The system will shut down. And we should have a good few minutes before the emergency backup generators kick in. Cheaty and I made our way through the old incel sector. I know the place at the back of me hand, thanks to a little vault and mine mail we did a few months back. I know that the relic storage rooms are on the other side of it. You meet us after, and we bail. All goes to plan... We'll be out before the security systems kick back in. Kushti? I have to say, I'm impressed. I guess you learned that poking into your lead in doesn't always work out as well as hoped. <laughs> that I can do. If I give a strong enough blast, I can knock out the electricity momentarily as well. That'll give you and Cheeky some more coverage. It sounds like a solid plan. All we need is speed. So try not to be too late this time. Hey, I don't remember you ever complaining about me poking before when a poking don't work. There's always a good ramming to fall back on. Hopefully we won't need to, though. I'm talking about magical attacks, of course. Listeners, you bloody deviants. They're always getting me into trouble with me words when I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> Strong enough blast. Has my owl got some pent-up frustrations? Nah, you're getting me started now. It sounds like a cracking plan, love. Right. No more fluffing about. Cheaty squad, move out. to lose some weight. <laughs> Quite the view that V is, eh? 
<laughs> he's practically hanging from the side of the comms unit. <laughs> I don't know how he hasn't fallen. That man must have some sort of gorilla grip. Open bloody thing. Open! There we go, in his hands. Woman. Let's do a what little kind bit of, of preposterous vacuum. things are you reading? Right. You. Light magic, was it? Is that what got you captured and locked in high security? <laughs> oh, don't look so surprised. I may not be able to read minds, but I can read in between lines. Corporation Logs 2255-68 Facility B has been completely wiped out. There's nothing left. The vampire suspect, <sighs> hardly a vampire anymore, is gone. Multiple reports of massacres from all over the precinct. Cities wiped what out. What the fuck you know lives. is this? <sighs> so many lives lost. Well, that's a little bit depressing. Let's find something else. With magic like yours. You could practically sway whoever you want. YV. What do you plan on doing with your ability? You just want to help. <laughs> you can't be that much of a fool, love. You have no idea what you're going to cost V. That's a little bit of this, a little bit of Greetings, Corporation staff oh, member! I am Jeff! I would like to serve you today! What? Are they still using this system? It's fucking old and fucking annoying! I bet you wonder about his past, hmm? Piss off! I wanna get on a bit of a roll here. Her damn soul request accepted! No! God damn twat sucking man! Wonder if there's a purpose to his madness? You've been staying with him for three months. That stupid Roydar mask wearing mother. You could have easily snuck into his mind and seen his memories while he was asleep. Why haven't you? Then you would get what you wanted, would you not? Why not just outright ask me? Oh wait, Monster Chapter 3? And now he's got me hanging like a twat from the fucking top of his building doing this stupid freaking iPad bullshit. Because you respect his wishes to keep it to himself. Hmm? When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. Who the bloody hell do you think you're threatening? Do you dare fall for break me, you dickhead? Well, stop threatening me. Well, get me fucking down I don't from this like you, hun. Well, the system and get the hole open for the but I, don't fucking know I suppose that makes it. you at least you somewhat honourable. You. you can hack. What then, smarty pants? Then why ain't I hacking? Because you're wasting too much time arguing with me. Because you're being a wanker. I'm right up in the air. I you by one hand. That must have some kind of wank grip to get this strong. Since when? So I've got a superpower wank hand, but I can't fucking hack. Yes, you can. No, I fucking can't. You know, for someone who claims to be the new king of wholesome, you're not being very wholesome. Yeah? Well, someone who claims to be all really nice and friendly despite having a dark side, you are being a dark, dickheaded twat. All right, King Kong crotch face. What the fucking hell did you just call me? V, mate, stop trying to be scary. You're hanging from a hundred foot in the air like an idiot. And who the fucking hell put me here? Me, because you're supposed to do something for the story. Hack the computer so L can get in. I don't know how to! Just press the right buttons. I am going to kick your fucking ass. No, you're not. Do you know why? Oh yeah, why not? Because I'm the one who voices you, sweetheart. Heart. I can do whatever I want with Oh you. yeah, like what? Oh, don't tempt me, mate. Well, I'm already hanging like a chimpanzee. What more are you going to do? Something like this. <clears throat> Hello, my darlings. My name's Vivi. I like to wear a maid's dress and look pretty in pink. I'm going to fucking kill you! The only thing you're going to kill is your reputation. Tell me. What have you read from him so far? I'm gonna rip roll rip your balls off. I'll just play Levana laughing again and you run away like a little scared pussycat. That he's... An utter asshole. You watch your mouth, you daft mind-reading pigeon. V is a good man. I'm gonna grab your sides if I'm so far up your ass, you're gonna be burping 
fucking play. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A somewhat good man. Daddy D. It's just short for Daddy Dick. Oh, I am fucking awesome. About as wholesome as a carrot being shoved up a horse's ass. Oi, that's a sensitive subject. The Discord cheaties, remember? You have absolutely no idea what he has had to suffer through. Hey, press the button, open the hats, let's carry on the story. Goggle thumb tax, shit razor blades, jump off a cliff and fucking die. Do it, or I'm going to act you and do it. Then fucking do it! Do you really want me to? Go on then, smart ass. Fine. Hello, my darlings. I'm hanging like an idiot. I've got a pretty little pink dress on. You fucking... No, no, no. I'm playing V now. Let's press a few buttons like I was supposed to because it's not fucking hard. Press this and... You've taken the piss. That's all I had to do. You could have just made me do that to begin with. You fucking moron. Wasting my fucking time. Right, hell, get in the hole. The things he's seen, Ow. the burdens Ow. he has to carry, Ow. the sacrifices he Ow. is about get to make. Ow! Jump into the hole, you stupid cow! <sighs> Even if he is an asshole. Geronimo! Superhero landing! Ah. <sighs> Oh, come on, Cheaty. Do you really think that was 100 feet up in the air? That was just poor writing from a poor fucking script writer. And shit voice actor. Yeah, dickhead. I'm on the ground now. I don't need ya. Seriously, he says I can fucking hack. Says where can I hack? Oh, Syphy needs script lessons in improv. Right, give it a minute. Yeah, we'll do a little Pikachu and we can crack on with the rest of the mission. You doing all right? Yeah, you just look a little bit preoccupied. What's up? You sure? Don't want you to hold me up in there? You sure? Right. I'll take your word for it. Here it comes. Get ready, cheaty. How do I know? I've known this girl for a long time. I can feel something in my bones when she's about to do her magic. Ready? Three, two, one... Pikachu! You see, you're that a thing of beauty. Right, come on, go, 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 go! Ah, oh, well, this place looks familiar. Because every fucking corporation facility looks the same. You'd think with it in the upper alphabet that they could afford some better decor. Hey, if we stick your employee ID on the wall, at least they'd have a boo pick. You what, cheaty? You know what? That's actually not a stupid question. Let me enlighten you. Well, you see, last time we teleported when we met each other, for the first time, I had to speak Latin, which I fucking suck at. And I just had the ability from the first Shadow Crystal that you stupidly shot. So, I managed to learn some teleportation abilities from the energy that I got from that Shadow Crystal. But it's still a little bit iffy. L's better at stuff than I am. But you see, this facility is getting a bit higher in the alphabet, as I've said about three times so far. I'm getting sick of repeating that in the bloody script. Well, they tend to be able to dampen out our dark magical abilities, such as teleporting. How did Void Wraith get ya? Fucking hell, you're actually asking some good questions, Cheaty. That fucking weirdo don't use dark magic to teleport. He don't even really teleport. Void Wraith, work it out. He tends to open a gateway into some weird dimension and travel through it. But it all depends on where he goes. You see, he could open up and fall in the middle of the bloody ocean if you ain't careful. So he has to have an idea where he's going through the other reality. I think half the time the dickhead just guesses. I don't know. But somehow I managed to find you. What are you looking so pale for, Cheeky? Are you alright, love? Yeah? Well, you don't look it. I need you for the next part. So can you pull through? I knew my girl was tough. Come on, love, keep up. 
or your prick that last will get left behind. L is razor sharp precise of her timing. Ready for it. Three, two, one. There we go. Security's down. Come on, let's leg it. Come on. So these are the old incels. There are no inmates. Must have had a clear out. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Sick bastards. Right, come on, Cheaty. Let's get a move on. Cheaty, what's wrong? Don't bullshit me. What's wrong? You gone pay living a bloody ghost? You're staring at that cell. It was the one that held you in, wasn't it? This is where you're experimented on. Cheeky. Darling. Shit. Look at me. You're panicking. Look at me. Breathe. You can do this. No, I'm not going to go on without you. You're a team. Shit, come here, come here. Shh. Shh, it's okay, I've got you. I won't let go of you until you're okay. Just breathe and listen to me. You're gonna be just fine, all right? This is a random room in a random building and the shitty moments you experienced here cannot hurt you now nor will they control or define who you are breathe darling you control your emotions and how you react to it it's okay to be scared it's okay to panic alright but you're gonna be okay. You've got this, Cheaty. Keep breathing slowly. I've got you, mate. Take your time. You're still tough, mate. Trauma affects even the toughest of us. But no one is gonna hurt you while I'm here. And no one is getting to me while L has my back. At this moment in time, it's you and me, and nothing else. Drown everything out, okay? I can't have you going floppy on me now. <coughs> I thought you'd be the one to tell me that. I need you focused. Last time you flopped on me, you nearly burned the kitchen down. I thought Sarah was going to stab you. And me, just for bringing you. I'm always having to cover up after your messes. Stop bringing up the fact that I left you on the building to die, love. It's all in the past. Live in the present. Live in the now, alright? You want a kiss? <laughs> Threatening to kick me in the balls is proof that you're feeling better. You good, yeah? Nice one. Shut it, dickhead. Don't be thanking me. I just needed my tool in working order. Did you not hear the audio the other week? I'm awesome now, Daddy D. No, not Daddy Dickhead, you cretin. Right, come on before I shove me boot up your poop shoot. Come on, Agent T, keep up. Here we are, just like old times, eh? These relic storage units all look the bloody same. I tell you what, Cheaty, getting out to knock out for security was a diamond plan of mine. Not a single casualty, not a single faff about. Straight in. 
And those Muppets are probably in the canteen stuffing their faces without a clue. And what's this over here? Come here, you beauty. I swear down, they just leave these things hanging around the place like they want me to find them. Oh, I can feel the power in this one, cheeky. I'm gonna do some good things with this. Right. Now, where the fuck is it? Like, cheeky, mate, I ain't gonna lie to you. I brought you here for a reason. I need you to focus on your light magic for a minute. Do that aura thing that I taught you. Good girl. Why is there nothing showing up? It's supposed to react to your magic. For oh, the fuck's sake. It's got to be around here somewhere. Stay there, Cheaty. Come on. So much fucking shit in here that they call treasure. It's got to be some here. Come on, look for too long. No. No. What the fuck is that? No. They call this a relic. You're taking too much time, V. The backup generators are about to turn on. Ah, shit. Hang on a tick. Ah, fuck it isn't here. Bollocks! You have the crystal. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> you know what I'm looking for, Al. And I ain't bloody here. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're still hung up on that plan. You don't even know if it's going to work. So what else am I supposed to do, love? Wait for shit to go south again? I won't let that shit we went through happen again. To anyone. You know it's a solid plan. It doesn't have to happen again. Not while we're here to stop it. I can't let you do this to yourself. L, I love you. But we can't stop this alone. We know the corporation have it. We know that only a light user can use it. They got a hard on for cheating once they became aware of our light magical abilities. It's all adding up. They know of the power the two combined would carry. If someone were to gather all of the Dark Lord's energy into one mass and allow them to... What are we supposed to do then? Let you die and just hope it works? Even if they did, you know they can't handle that much power. It would all be a waste anyway. They can't. Alone. But if their hand was guided correctly by someone holding the opposing power, someone with control, you know I'm good for that. L. We didn't spend our childhood holding each other in despair, afraid to let each other go out of fear what happened if the other were dragged away, just to let the cycle happen again. It's never been done like this before, and you know I'm the only one who can do it. What makes now so different from when we were children? I'm not letting you go, V. I'm not going to let you throw your life away for this. You mean too much to me, our family. You can find another plan. The difference now is I am much stronger, and I'm getting stronger. We know what happens to dark magic users as we grow in power. You mastered your abilities by fine-tuning them. My abilities require me to go to that place. You've seen firsthand what it can do to others, but I am not like them. I can take it. I'm not so self-absorbed to disregard your feelings on the matter, Al. If I can keep you and our family safe, every other fucker is completely innocent in all this. You're not like them. That's why you don't have to do this. Nothing is going to change after this plan. The corporation isn't the only evil. Even if you die, you know Anima will stop at nothing to gain power. Her and her stupid wraith syndicate- Hell, please! We promise to never mention her name again. She betrayed us all. She tried to kill the kids. She hurt you. She almost sucked my life force dry if you didn't bitch slap her off me. And they had the nerve to call me the dark betrayer. <sighs> the worst thing is, we can't even blame her. She was corrupted by the same trauma we went through. Difference is, she tried doing what I'm doing. And that isn't her skill set. But think, if this works... There won't be any dark magic left to corrupt people. There won't be a need for light magic. There could be balance. L, you spent all these years running alone, fighting her and the syndicate to keep them away from the family. Please come home. Together we're unstoppable. 
You may even have a chance to convince me to not do this. Maybe. I left because I knew that if she got closer, you would have tried to find it long before now. And I would have had no chance to stop you from doing it. We've lost so much already. I can't lose you too, V. I will come home. But you have to promise me that you won't do this. At least not yet. I'm not ready to let you go. <sighs> Honor amongst thieves, love. If we find another way, I won't have to do it. But know that I won't stop looking, and I will do everything it takes to protect you all. You are my family, and I would tear through the gates of hell to wrap my hands around the throat of any demon that dared to hurt you. I know. And you won't have to do it alone. Someone has to keep an eye out for you and your little mind reader. <sighs> Even Cheeky over here deserves a medal for staying quiet throughout all this. Bloody hell, love, you alright? Now if you want to live long enough to choke out some masochistic demons, we need to get out of here. Aye, it's not nice to expose other people's kinks. Just because Ed Pats don't do it for me, this ain't that sort of audio. <laughs> Ah, oh, bollocks. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Alert! Intruders! Extract data villains! The Dark Betrayer and the Shadow Vault! You are to be terminated for crimes against the corporation for the betterment of mankind. No sacrifice too great. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hang on. L. They call you Shadow Bolt. <laughs> Shady B! Shady B? More like Slim Shady. Slim with a hell of a booty on ya. Hang on. There are so many 69s. Fucking hello. We got a gangbang on our hands. Your kind of Friday night, love. 69? Yeah! 69? Out of all the numbers, these poor bastards <laughs> got me 69. <laughs> <laughs> Like a little more spark to my Friday nights. What do you think, V? Spark sounds good. With a bit of shadow fire. You got my back, mate. Always. Oh, how I've missed this. On three? Let's have it. Three, two, one. one. Destroy. Take this, you slap! What a man! Fuck it. Go on now, do it, do it! He cut you! Yes! He did the vegan too! And that's the last of them. Hell, mate, that felt like old times. Ah, bollocks. That's the main power coming back on. If we made a beeline straight for the way out we came, we should avoid any civilians. No stopping. Hell, you got a better range than me. Take point and blast any sentries coming back, okay? I got your six. T9! <laughs> nice. Cheaty, keep your tight little ass between us. Cheaty sandwich! Right, let's bag her off. Got it. Cheeky, whatever you do, don't look behind us and don't slow down. If we're lucky, we'll get out before they decide if they'll blow the place up. Let's leg it, my darlings! Well, all in a day's work, my darlings. Got me a new shadow crystal. Gonna learn me some decent moves from this. Should be a nice little power boost. Hell, mate. Cheers for the help, love. I can't wait to have you back with the family. Movie nights and shots.
If you can still handle your drink. <laughs> you bet I can. And I officially challenge you to a drink off. Last man standing wins. <sighs> I can't wait to see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do. I slip in a sip every now and then. But I can't remember the last time I got to sit down and enjoy one. <sighs> I'm nervous. I get it, darling. For what it's worth, I don't blame you for leaving. The two of us together would have attracted far too much attention. You kicking the shit out of the Wraith Syndicate and myself battering the corporation really helped to prevent the need to move the kids around every week or so. They could actually somewhat have lives. And they ain't stupid. They don't blame you. And they will love you all the same. But with this new power, you and I can really make a difference. Thank you, love. I'm glad it worked out this way. I'm happy to be home. We will make a difference. We have to. For our family. For our childhood selves. Then we can go back to raising chaos, eh? Just like we used to. Well, that sounds just cushy. I hope we can. I want to be there. And with us all together, there may be a better way. A happier way. A light away. Here we are, darlings. Home sweet home. Hang on. This door's supposed to be closed. Elle? Can you sense that? Yeah, I sense it. The latch was broken in. Kids! Sliced to clean off. I've never seen so much blood. What kind of a monster? I fucking kill him! Hey! Cheeky. Stay here and search for survivors. Keep yourself hidden. V! Wait! Got a lovely bunch of children's heads, jiggly dee, and here they are, standing in a row. Which one shall I keep? Only I will know. Old love is getting ripe, so it's time for us to go. Do you like my collection, little light? I'm sorry. Did these belong to friends of yours? 
Well, I am hardly to blame. I came to meet you on the Darkling. Imagine how rude it was to arrive at your door and find you had gone to play with my old captors. A forgivable loss of manners since you left such a buffet for me. They were not a buffet. Well, they screamed like a buffet. They ran, pleaded, begged, bled, and died like a buffet. And they certainly tasted like one. This one. What is his name? I think someone called him Ben when they screamed. You see, this little champ rushed me. I respected his bravery. So I let him stay alive the longest while I tore the rest of them up. You see how red his eyes are. His little tear ducts had completely dried by the time his turn came around. You're as white as a ghost, little light. Are you really shocked to see me? All this time, you never felt me nearby. Did you really not expect me to come for you? What were you expecting? I have smelt your energy for weeks now. But I wanted to savor the fine moments of stalking my prize prey. I try to satiate my hunger on others. But entire cities could not satisfy me. After I smelled your blood, and that of the little darkling, who am I? Why do I call you little light? Are these really your questions? What do I look like, little light? A vampire. I suppose I once was. Apparently this grey skin of mine made me stand out from an already secretive race. Like a sore thumb to my old captors. Something about resembling old ancient vampire gods. Who knows? Who cares? I certainly don't. I'm having too much fun to care about law. I will let you ponder that in your little head while I admire it. Stay away. Oh no, little lie. How am I supposed to sink my teeth into you if I don't get closer? That was spit in the face of my reasons for coming here in the first place. <laughs> was that an attempt to attack? Light magic. I expected it may be a potential threat since it historically harms vampires. But not on me. That felt no more than an insect bite. I am actually disappointed that it didn't hurt. But after two years of torture... What is pain, little lie? 
Your mind isn't affected by the compelling of my old captors, is it? You look surprised. I know much more than you may believe. Shall I explain? First things first. Stand still, little light. Do not move. Do not scream. <laughs> so my compelling works with no issues after all. I suppose this is the difference in our power. Explain, little light. Now that you can't run away. Since I awoken, I can almost feel your heartbeat for miles and miles away. If I focus enough, I may even be able to make out words. You could be asleep in a hidden bunker or hundreds of feet in the air and I would be able to hear your gentle sleeping breaths. The sensory powers of an abomination, twisted and warped into the ultimate weapon. I still have no idea why my former captors even dared to go this far. If they knew the risks, foolish desires for power, or suicidal curiosity. Or maybe there was another reason. Maybe I will find out. Maybe I will kill everyone before then. We will see what mood I am in at the time. Speaking of mood, the smell of the blood. The magic in your blood is making me salivate, little light. It's like a unique spice within a fine wine that exists in a once-in-a-lifetime bottle. I believe it's time for a taste. You look terrified. How does it feel to know you cannot run or scream for help? The Darkling cannot come to your aid. You are at my mercy. And unfortunately, I forgot. What mercy is. I would promise you that I would only take a small drop from you because you intrigue me more than most victims. But I can never hold back. It's like the Tootsie Pop game. How many licks does it take to get to the center? I wonder how many sucks it would take to drain you dry. You really think the Reaper would dare to fall for or break me with a joke? <laughs> you see, that in itself is amusing. He won't save you now, and I may just end up eating through your neck 
while you wait with false hope for someone to come. Until you feel the crunch of your spinal cord within my mouth, vibrating through your body. A cold realization that it is now too late. And then sweet nothingness. Look in your eyes will be otherworldly. The most divine of beauties to witness. So shall we play a game, little light? I sense defiance in your aura before I met you. Now, I sense nothing but dread. Let me see if I can pull what is left of it from your arteries. Hey! <laughs> Go goggle some garlic, you gluttonous mosquito freak! <sighs> Fuck. You. You're pure evil! <sighs> So here she is, one of the little darklings. <laughs> I have been salivating to meet you, my love. I am the atrocity. And you may want to try a little harder with your lightning, my love. Entertain me, because your head is certainly the prettiest here. And I am looking for a replacement. Try getting your own head on straight first before looking for another. <laughs> I actually felt that one. So this is the ever-growing little darkling that I sent so long ago. Oi, Count Twatula. If it was Ed you wanted... You should have just asked. Now I'm just getting hungry again. Is it time to play, Darkling? You call this playing? You call this a game? You don't know what you've done, mate. You murder my family. You try to munch on Cheeky. And then you're gonna hurt my best friend. <laughs> you're gonna fucking die. That's an interesting aura around you, Darkling. By all means, I've been waiting for a suitable playmate. But be warned, if I incapacitate you, I may take the little blondies here and skin them in front of you while you're still breathing. What was that? Oh, <laughs> Count Twatula. You just fucked yourself. You cut! <laughs> Come on then, Darkling. Cheeky! V can't reach his full potential without putting us both in danger. If we don't leave, he could sacrifice himself to avoid risking us, and we can't let that happen. We need to get out of here, now. Did he hurt you? Good. Don't let him get too close to you. And whatever you do, don't let him in your head. Atrocity isn't a man. He's... He's a monster. My kids. My family. He murdered them. He killed all of them. 
Get down! Better be okay, please be okay. Son of a son of a bitch! I can't feel anything. What the fuck? I've never got my ass kicked like that before. What the hell happened? Who's that? Cheeky, is that you? Cheeky, don't let go, please. I'm scared. Everything's fucked. Everything's gone. Cheeky, please, don't let go. I fought at full power, like never before. He was, he was just playing with me. How the fuck can something be that strong? How did this happen? I, this, this, this can't be it. No, th this can't be. Please, me. Please don't let go. Please just be alright. Thank you for looking after him. I was wrong about you, Cheeky. Thank you. Ow. Ow!